Hello again. I dare say that some viewers, like me, were delighted to see that the World Athletics Council under Seb Co had voted to ban from women's events people who were born male and went through puberty. Although this is being treated in some quarters as a controversial and discriminatory move, to the rest of us it just seems to be common sense and a fair way to proceed. Going through male puberty endows a body with certain musculature, which will always give an edge over a biological woman. It is simply unfair to have such people competing against women. Needless to say, there are those, such as the Stonewall Organisation, who are presenting this as an instance of sexism and transphobia, but even the average gay person sees that it is really nothing of the kind. It's all very well for Stonewall to say that we stand with trans people who have now had the doors closed on their chance to compete in athletic sports at an international level, but most of us see that this is nonsense. If somebody born with a penis wishes to compete at athletics, then there's no bar at all. It will, however, mean competing against other people who were born with penises. What's unfair about that? The Labour Party, too, seems to be backing away from the trans business. At least, Keir Starmer is refusing to say what their policy is now about trans. He says that the events in Scotland have caused everybody to think that they must stop and consider the matter a little more. Of course, it's not only the events in Scotland. We are having similar <coughs> events in England as well. In 2017, a young man called Dominique Wisdom lured an underage girl who he picked up via the internet to a secluded spot and then had sex with her against her will. He was convicted of sexual activity with a child and sent to prison for four years. Shortly before his release in 2019, he decided that he was really a woman and changed his name to Lexi Rose Crawford. Would anybody care to guess what he did a few weeks after being released? Why, that's right. He had sex with another woman against her will and has just been convicted in Bristol of rape. I give a link to this case in the description to this video, and the thumbnail to the video shows either Mr Risden or Miss Crawford, depending entirely upon your level of gullibility. Ludicrously, the indictment in the case refers to her penis. This is an indication of how utterly mad society has gone particular subject lately. As I say, there are signs that this craze is beginning to subside a little, and with luck we shall soon see a precipitous decline in those who are diagnosed with the condition of gender dysphoria. What is very noticeable is that many sensible people pointed out exactly what would happen if we began loosening the restrictions and guidelines on identifying as a member of the opposite sex. Those who warned what would happen were dismissed as being transphobic and, of course, as belonging to the extreme right. It has taken various ghastly crimes, such as the one I mentioned just now, to say nothing of the sight of a tall, muscular, middle-aged man playing basketball with a bunch of 12-year-old girls to demonstrate the hazards of making it too easy to transition, as they say.